Hi folks, this is Mohan Raghavan. Today we are going to see the Python variables and methods. So it will be very essential in case of if you are going to the OOPS concepts. So let's jump into the topic. Python variables. So in Python variables, if you consider the OOPS concepts, we will have three types of variables. One is local variable, class variable, instance variable. The definition we will see one by one, local variable. A variable declared inside the function's body or in the local scope is known as the local variable. So inside the function body or let's say the blocks, let's say that loop or iteration blocks, if inside, if you mention the variable, then those variables will be called as the local variable. Next one is class variable. Class variables are defined within the class construction, but out of all the methods or functions. Because they are owned by the class itself and class variables are shared by all the instances of the classes. And next one is instance variable. Instance variables are owned by the instances of the classes. This means that for each object or instance of a class, that instance variables are different. Unlike class variables, instance variable are defined within the methods. So next one, related keywords for local variables. For local variable, actually we don't have anything, but if it is a functional programming, we may have non-local keyword, but still in OOPS concept, we are not considering any keyword. In class variable, we will be using the variable name CLS. In case of instance variable, we will use the self. So it's a naming convention. It's not mandatory to use the same keyword. And next one, creation. So local variables, as we discussed as a definition, it will be inside the blocks or methods. And next one, class variable, it will be inside the class with the CLS keyword. And outside the class, we can use with the class name. And next one, Instance variable. Instance variable, it can be found inside the init method or it can be found in the instance method as well. So it will be used with the keyword self. And outside the class also, we can add the instance variable by using the object of the class. So this all thing we will see in the demo. And next one, scope. Scopes follows the LEGP rule in case of functional programming. Just to highlight here, we just we are adding this point so legp stands for first one local next one enclosed third one global and last one built-in functions so accessing so how can you access the local variable directly using the name we can access but inside the blocks or methods it's only available inside the blocks or methods next one class variables we can use the cls variable or we can use the class name or we can use the object of the class as well for instance variable, we can use the self variable or we can use the object of the class. And next one, deleting. So local variable, once the block is completed, then it will be automatically deleted. It will not be available outside the block. And next one, class variable can be deleted using delete keyword. And instance variable also can be used, I mean, can be deleted using the delete keyword DEL. So this all definitions are the practical we will see in the demo. Next one, Python methods. So in Python, we have three kinds of methods. So those are like instant method, class method, and static methods. So here, some people may be wondering why the difference between the class methods and static methods. We will see the definition. An instant methods requires an instance in order to call it. We are intended to use access instance variable. So whatever the instance variable, if you are accessing that instance variable inside your function, then that should be the instance method. Same way for class method is the one that belongs to the class as a whole. It does not require an instance. Instead, the class will automatically will be sent to the first argument. So let's say in your method, if you are using or if you are planning to access the class variables, which are out of all the methods, so those time you will use that class methods. And next one, static methods. So general utility methods, which normally do not access class variables. And we are not intended to access neither class variable nor instance variable. So you don't want both class and instant variable, but you want some methods to be used as utilities. So that time you will go with the static methods. So keywords. In instance method, you can find always the first argument as self. And next one, class method. In class methods, you will have only one argument that is CLS. 
and the static methods can be any number of arguments and it can be empty also and decorators so the decorator itself is a separate topic but as of now we can consider it is just like an annotation in java or it is like an indicator to the pvm tells it is something different from other methods so for instance methods we normally don't use any decorators but in for class methods we will use the annotation at class method and it is mandatory in case of class methods and for static methods we will use at static method it is a conventional and it's optional also so if you don't mention that it will work in a different way but if you are sure and if you want to have a good coding practice you will mention at static method for instance if you don't mention the decorator which is at static method if you calls with the class name then it will act as a class name and if you call with the object it will act as a instance method so ways of calling the instance method will be used and by calling using the object reference and class methods using class name we can call or object reference we can call but it is uh, recommended to use the class name and next one static method you can use either class name or object reference it does not matter and overloading in python methods we don't have the overloading but here we have the optional or default values so for example you have two values a and b you can give the default values a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 10 if you don't pass two values also then the default values will be taken or if you are passing only the a value then b value will be taken as a default value 10 or if you send both values then that will be replaced with 10 and 10 for the a and b so this is the same applicable for all the methods and deleting as usual we can delete the methods from outside or inside by using the del keyword so let's jump into the demo we will see the uh, sm small code snippet which will covers maximum things what we discussed till now So as soon as you get the class, just we will scan from starting to ending. So first we will go with instance variable, just we will recollect the points what we saw. So whichever the method having self as the first argument, that will be the instance methods. And whichever the method having CLS as the argument, that will be the class methods as usual. It will have the annotations or the decorator as at class method. And the static method will have at static method as the decorator. Even sometimes it may not be having the time how it was we will see and every instance variable having self as a keyword self dot the variable name will be there and the class variables which are nothing but inside the class but outside all the methods. So now we will scan our code. So first class variable so it is out of all the methods but inside the class so it is the class variable next one init method and execute for every object creation and as you know init method always will have the first argument as self and we can pass some other values also and inside the init method we have the instance variable so we can tell that instance variable by seeing self dot the variable name and we are just assigning the value for that by using the constructor or the init method then after we have one more method so by seeing the self keyword we can understand that it is the instance method and instance method i am using the instance variable inside that by using the self dot the variable name which is already assigned in the init method so it is available already because it will be the init method will be executed whenever you call the object and next one we have the instance variable creation inside the instance method which means that after init method even we are able to create the instance variable by using the self dot the new variable name we can give and we can create the new variable and we can access as well by using the same keyword self sorry self is not a keyword self is a variable and next one is local test so inside that we have the local variable so which does not have self or which does not have the class so directly we are creating the variable and we are using there as soon as you come out of this class or block so it will not be accessible 
and even you may see this name already we have the instance variable but it will be self dot name and next one class method by seeing the decorators you will come to know this is the class method so which means that inside the class in this method we are just planning to access the class variables so in our case we have already one class variable cls underscore variable so just the as and one more thing is we can see cls is the keyword which means that this is the class method along with our decorator so class variable accessing using class name inside the class so inside the class and we can use two type of variables so we can directly use the class name followed by the class variable name or we can use the cls key uh, the variable name and we can use the class variable so in both cases it can access the class variable inside the class and next one at static method so it is a utility method by using the decorator we can understand it is a static method and it does not use it does not use anything like the class variable or the instance variable so directly we are passing and we are just adding and getting the output so we never use any class or instance variable inside that so that you never see any cls or self keyword here and next one utility method only but you don't have the decorator then how it will be working so if call happens with the class name then it will be as a class method if call happens with the object of the class then it will be instance method so here just we have only one parameter and we are displaying in the output so then we will see the next lines so i am creating the instance for the test class by using the parameter mukuntan so as soon as this object created the init method will be called and whatever the name i am sending mukuntan that will be the parameter for name and it will be assigned to the local sorry instance variable self dot name then after t1 dot y so this one for instance variable i am adding outside from the class so which means that for the t1 instance we have only instance method self dot name and self dot new name and that's all but here i am adding one more variable t1 dot y with the instance where added outside the class and after that i am trying to print that instance variable which got added from the outside then i am calling the t1 dot wish method so it goes here because it has self instance method so i am calling with the instance then it will be executed then it will come here self dot name already we assigned in the init method so it will be coming hi welcome mukundan expected and next one i am creating one more variable inside that method that is instance variable then latest name then hi welcome that will be the latest name and next one i am calling the local test so local test as usual it comes it has the name for inside locally so it will use the local name only hi welcome local name should be displayed and next one test dot nice so here i am calling nice method it is a class method so i can call directly by using the class name so it will come here it will execute both and in both places it will be the test class class variable so if you go to the top it will be python tutorials for oops either you call with the class name or instance name it will be the same and test dot utility so test dot utility it comes so where is the method so test dot utility so it is the static method you can call with either the class name or with the instance name so first i am calling with the class name so it will be coming here it will be executing and it will give the output even you can call with the instance method there is no change in the output it will do the same thing because it's a utility method can be used both with test i mean the class name and the instance name and test dot utility without decorator so here we don't have the decorator but still we are calling with the class name when you call with the class name it will be mentioned or it will be act as a class method so if it is a class method how it can work so cls will be the first one so cls is a object name class object name so it will display the class object next one t1 dot utility without decorator so now you are calling with the instance name the instance will be passed here so the instance passed here in the sense it will be the object current object so current object will be here self so that object id will be printed so in a, in both in the previous case we are sending as five so here test right it is a class name so it is a 
class variable or it will be working as a class method so class method will take the argument phi so it will display the phi as it is but in the next case we are sending the self variable because we are calling with instance so instance will be converted as a first argument self so self is the current object so current object id will be displayed so we will run this and we will see the outputs perfect so you will see one by one t1 test mugundan so it will be calling the init method init method called which is from inside then after t1.y i'm creating the new variable and i'm trying to print that so it is printing as it is and next one t1.wish so t1.wish goes here and it calls hi welcome the instance name local instance will be i mean the instance variable in the init method will be mukundan so it will be displaying like that and next one local test local test inside sorry next one which is completed t1 local test so t1 local test sorry in wish method only we have just we are creating one more the instance variable and we are displaying that one so even that is coming as output so latest name then after i am calling the local method so local method inside sorry local uh, test method and it has a local variable inside so it will be displaying as hi welcome local name then i am calling the class method inside that i am accessing the class variable in both cases i am using the sorry in one first case i am using the class name and second time i am using the instance so that's why in first time whether i use the class name or instance name in both cases it will take the class variable value which is nothing but python tutorials for the oops and next one utility method so utility method can be used by class name or can be used with the instance name but in both cases it will be giving the same output and next one t1 sorry test utility without decorator so that means it will act as a class method so class method i am just sending the variable so it will take as it is and it will display the five hours output and next one i am using as a, by using instance method i am calling the utility class or the static method without having decorator so in that time it will act as a instance method so instance method means i am just passing the first the instance or self will be converted into the first argument so it is the current class object so that object will be taken here and if you see the output that object id will be displayed here so this is all about our instance variable or instance method and local variables class class methods and static methods so totally we saw the different kinds of variables and methods so in summary we can see instance variable class variables local variables instance method class methods static methods so at high level instance methods will be accessing the instance variables and class methods will be accessing the class variables and static methods it will be useful for the utility kind of thing it will not use anything other i mean it will not use the instance variable as well as the class variables and local variables is just a simple definition it will be inside the block or inside the methods so this is all about the python variables and methods so thanks all thanks for watching have a nice day